Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to isolate an object in a picture and make everything around that object appear blurry. The demonstration is going to be for those that are doing my workshop that will add their before and after photos. If you go to the gallery page, you will see these are all squares. If you have no intention of doing something like this, you don't have to make the original image a square. However, in this case, we will be creating a square image. When I Google Pixlr and I go to this window, I'm going to say open image from computer because I saved an image on my desktop. I'll go ahead and open it up and I will immediately make this image a square. To do that, I go to image, image size. I take the smaller number. In this case, it's 683. So I will say OK. I'm going to select the marquee tool in the tools window. I will go under constraint and select fix size. I will set both to 683. I will click down. I will move that marquee until I'm happy with what's inside. I will choose image, crop. I will then choose file, save. I will call this one girl 1. I'm going to set the quality to 100. I will then say OK. If you have a folder for this project, go ahead and go to that folder. Make sure you save it in that folder and click Save. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Lasso tool and I'm going to come in and select the girl as best as possible. Make sure you do not go in. If you go in like that, you're going to have to start over. So if that happens, go to Edit and choose Deselect All and start over. So it's OK to go outside of the girl because eventually we will use the eraser tool. So I'm going to try this again. Once you've made a selection where you have the image, you want to go ahead and choose Edit from the menu and choose Copy. Then you will choose Edit and Paste. Now you can use the Move tool in the Tools window. It's a little arrow and you can move it and you can worry about aligning that much better later. We'll just get a rough alignment at this time. Then you go to the Layers window. If the Layers window is not showing, you would go to View and choose Layers. It's a very important window. Click on the background layer and then go to Filter. Now if you wanted, you could do some interesting effects. I'll cancel that. You can play around, see if you like any of these options. If you don't, in this case, I will go back to the History window or I will do control Z. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go filter and just show you some of the options that you do have. That's kaleidoscope. But in this example, I am going to go to the filter and I'm going to choose box blur. And you can experiment with the amount so it's very blurry or it's not so blurry. It's up to you. I will then choose OK when I'm happy. I'm then going to go back to layer one and I need to use the eraser tool from the tools window and start erasing around the girl in this example because I want to just get her. If you need to, you can click on the magnifying tool here or the zoom tool and click in and you can hold the space bar of your keyboard and move it and keep going back and forth with the eraser tool. If the eraser is too big or too small, you can always go up in the options here and change that size. I like it to be a bit blurry. I might make it bigger. If you need it smaller, then you know where to go to make that eraser smaller. So I'm going to come in and keep working this and I'll be back with my final product. Before erasing any further, I think it's really important that I get the girl exactly where she should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layers window and there's a little arrow in the bottom left. Click on that back and forth if you need to and I'm going to make her so she's very faded. Now you see how blurry she is. I'm going to take the move tool and move her. When she's no longer blurred then I have her lined up accordingly. And it looks like I think she's aligned at this time. I will set it back to 100 percent in opacity. And I'm going to make sure that I've cleaned up around the edges where I need to. I see a little imperfections down here. So I might need to go back to the eraser and change that so it's easier to work with. Again, if you need to zoom in, click on that tool and zoom in. Use the space bar to move it and it does look like everything might be cleaned up. And when you're happy with your results, I'm going to go to View, Actual Pixels 
and once you're happy with that you're ready to save it. So I'm going to go back to file save. I'm going to call this one girl 2 and I'll set it to 100 and I will click OK and I'll save it somewhere safe on my computer. This concludes the session on isolating an image and making everything else around that image appear blurry. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.